defending the home court? Uh, we take a lot of pride in that. Um, at UConn, um, we take pride in those things. So we're just going to try to do the best that we can to defend it. So it's a big team that can hit threes. How do you balance you know, when to guard the three-point line, when to help out? Well, the we're actually going over how we defend them today. You'll find out. Yeah, I'll find out. <laughs> yeah. How do you make this not too big a game? Uh, you know, as a measuring stick, obviously you guys want to prove something, but how do you go out there and not make this bigger than it is? Oh, well, I think it is a big game. So I, I think we should treat it as such. Um, whether we win or lose, we still have a lot to learn from it because it is an early game, but I, I do think it's a big game. People talk about, you know, the, the spotlight lender, but this is kind of what you came here for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. This is why I can't even find to play games like this. Um, it's, we live for games like this. It's one of my biggest games so far, so I'm excited to play. Do you think you guys have something to prove, and are you trying to prove it to the outside, or are you trying to prove it inside the <laughs> We have something to prove. Yeah, I think we have a lot to prove, actually. I, I don't really think people, you know, since Lou and Pete graduated, they're just kind of like, oh. Uh, so I, I think this is a good test for us. What challenges does Baylor bring on the defensive end that you guys are trying to count on? Well, they're big. They are big. So um, our focus is just being smarter than them. And like we have to learn how to defend them today. So I can't really like answer those questions. <laughs> you mentioned being, you know, having to play smarter and smarter than them. What does that kind of entail in your mind? Um, doing our work early doing things before we see it happen, or before it happens. So it makes it easier on us. How important is it to avoid that third quarter letdown against a good team like Baylor? Um, it's important to have good 40 minutes of basketball. Um, we have to put all 40 minutes together. Um, there are stretches in the games where we kind of like lose our focus a little bit, so we can't do that. And we know that going in. You had a breakout game last season against Notre Dame on national television. With the jump the lips make this year and the type of opponent Baylor is, do you think she can have that type of breakout uh, tomorrow night? Absolutely. Um, she can do whatever she put her mind to. Just, just be focused and stay aggressive. Mm -hmm. Is too much made of like a freshman's first big game like this where there's going to be a ton of people in the crowd, a ton of cameras there? Is it kind of overwhelming as your first experience with that as a freshman? Is it overwhelming? Like as a freshman when you come in, that first big game where there's oh. 15,000 people screaming, is that overwhelming <laughs> at all? Uh, well, my first big game last year was Notre Dame, right? Yeah. So no. <laughs> no. No, it's not overwhelming. Um, it, it's why we come here to play in those games. At least it's why I came here, oh sorry, to play in those games. So I live for games like that. So do you think you're a freshman this year ready for that moment? Are they ready? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think they're ready. We're, we're well prepared. Yeah.